got very, the kids got very uh, upset, so uh, they went to her and they said, you go to church, pray for us. So she says, okay, and there was another Orthodox girl then, she got her and she got all the girls together, and she says, let's hold hands in a circle. So they did, and um, she said, let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Well, they started and they were giggling and she stopped. She says, no, we can't giggle. If this is going to be, if we're going to give a prayer, we have to be serious about it. And so um, they began with the Lord's Prayer. Sadly, only the two little Orthodox girls knew the Lord's Prayer. None of the other girls knew it. And when they were finished, all of a sudden the sun came out. But we know it, so let us join together in reciting. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, our tower of strength and fountain of wisdom in whom we have our being. We thank you for gathering us today, and we thank you for Joanne Camboris and her efforts in music to gather this choir to inspire us, especially during this time of Lent. May their voices give praise to you and inspire us for the rest of the great Lent. We ask this in your holy name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated, everyone. Good evening, reverend fathers, beloved friends, and loved ones. Thank you for taking the time from your busy lives to spend a little while with us here under the Byzantine dome of our beautiful Holy Trinity Church of Clearwater. This is the, an activity that is consistent with the teachings of the church during Lent, that we pray, we read scripture, engage in spiritual enrichment, treat others with Christian love, attend services, and give alms to the poor. Tonight, during our short intermission, it will only be 10 minutes, our wonderful organist from Turpin Springs, Nico Gonatos, will play for us as we pass a free will donation tray. These donations will help us to defray our expenses and give away the remainder of the collection to the International Orthodox Christian Charities Organization that benefits many people worldwide. I encourage you to donate as you are able to fulfill the mission that the Lord has given us. Also, we are pleased to invite you for a lovely Lenten reception following the concert next door in our beautiful Matthäus Hall. We begin tonight with three lovely pieces, none of them specifically related to Lenten periods during the year, but chosen for their prayerful beauty, profound meaning, and musical excellence. The first piece is of Russian Orthodox origin, skillfully adapted to English by Stan Takis of Williamston, Michigan. We all know this prayer, we just said it together. Taught to us by the Lord himself, the Our Father. But hearing this prayer song is indeed something special. The second is the great Apolitikion of the Holy Spirit, sung tonight in dedication to our lovely new temple in which we sit. Blessed are you, O Christ our God. The third piece is In the Shelter of Thy Wings by John Balamos of New York City. Our clergy will recognize the text from this service of, or from the service of the Prosquamidi, recited during the preparation of Holy Communion before the Divine Liturgy. Let's begin.
Not an easy piece to sing, but I will choir, very well done. Now, we come to the music of the first Lenten period of the ecclesiastical year, the fast of the Nativity of Christ. We will sing for you two pieces by Dr. Peter Michaelides of Blessed Memory, I Partheno Simeron, and Christ is Born, Christos Yenate. Dr. Michaelides was renowned for his interesting use of quartal and quintal harmonies, fourths and fifths, for those of you that know what that is. That they are not traditionally used in orthodox musical arrangements. Also, when he was writing music in the 1960s, he began to use English, which wasn't common at the time. He passed away in 2017, but not before he was able to see his music accepted and recorded by the world-famous vocal ensemble Capella Romana, who recorded several of his works and his Divine Liturgy in 2009. We will end this segment with our first selection from Great Lent, the Great Contagion of the Annunciation, Ti Ipermajo in both Greek and English.
that's usually a crowd favorite. We will now break for a 10 minute, very short, intermission so our choir can get some water and rest a little. And we will pass the free will donation tray for International Orthodox Christian Charities. Please enjoy some music by our own talented, Turpin Springs' own talented, Nico Gonatos on the organ.
Welcome back. Before we broke for intermission, we heard two contakia of the church, y parthenos simaron and the permajo. A contakion is a poetic teaching tool that our church hymnographers composed to educate people of the, about our faith. They are rich in theology and can be very long or they can be very short, like the two that we sang for you this evening. Next, we will sing a megalinarion. A megalinarion is also known in the Western churches as a magnificat. Our church, uh, our uh, Catholic and uh, Protestant people use that word, magnificat. And this is a hymn dedicated to the God-bearer, the Virgin Mary, who sits majestically together with her son in the apse of our church, our Lord and Savior Jesus. Episigeri is the megalinarion that is sung during the Sundays of Great Lent, during the liturgy of St. Basil. The translation is in your program. Now we move to the somber and mystical hymns of Holy Week, beginning 
with one of the most significant, hymn, significant hymns from the three bridegroom services, the Ex Apostilarion Ton Nymphona Suvlepo, in both Greek and English. Next, we will sing an arrangement of the communion hymn that I'm sure many of you will remember from our resurrection and our post-resurrection services called Soma Christu, arranged by our beloved composer Taiki Zes, with an English adaptation by Vladimir Morrison of the Russian Orthodox Church. This is the hymn that made me <laughs> a church musician from a very early age. As a child, my parents would take me to the choir practice at St. Sophia's Greek Orthodox Church in San Antonio, Texas, with my pillow dressed in my jammies. Soma Christu was the last thing that I heard as I drifted off to sleep on the pews.
Oops, there it is. The music of, Greek Orthodox, of the Greek Orthodox Church has undergone many changes over the centuries. Since the fifth century, Byzantine chant has been our traditional form of music, but has itself undergone several transformations, especially during the four centuries of Ottoman occupation. However, in Europe during the mid 19th century, the influence of Western music styles began to take hold in the churches of several cities, namely Vienna, Trieste, Italy, London, Paris, and even in Greece itself. We speak tonight of the city of Vienna, the center of Western music development in Europe. In 1848, a young priest monk of the Viennese, uh, of the, uh, Viennese Church of St. George by the name of Anthimos Nicolaidis began to explore the Western style of polyphony for his choir. He enlisted the help of a well-known teacher and composer at the Vienna Conservatory by the name of Gottfried von Preyer. And together they collaborated to create several notable pieces, one of which we will sing tonight. This movement toward polyphony in Europe was strongly discouraged and eventually banned by the patriarch and the synod. But somehow it continued to be used and developed along with a musical accompaniment of the clavichord or the organ. In reaction to this movement toward Western influence, Byzantine chant also had a resurgence among, uh, toward a more traditional practice in Greece during the same time. Eventually, as migration to America began, both styles of Orthodox music came along with the immigrants. Currently, most of our composers use the melodic elements of Byzantine chant, and they add harmony that correlates with the Byzantine ethos or characteristic spirit. We will now sing for you two different versions of the communion hymn called Potirion Sotiriu, using both the Viennese westernized style that will be first and the traditional Byzantine melody that has been harmonized. This hymn is used at the Dormition Fast in August, at Orthodox weddings, and several times during the year. I will ask you to not to applaud during the transition from one hymn to the other so we can preserve the, the sound of one in your ear while going to the other one. So I'll keep my hands up, that will remind you.
Now we come to the end of our concert, and I wanted George to stand here so I can speak to him too because he's a very dear person to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are many, many people for us to thank tonight. First, I thank our beloved Father Jim for his counsel, his spirit of patience, encyclopedic knowledge, and assistance in helping me to prepare for tonight. Also, I thank our tireless parish administrator, Nina Pazos, who not only sings in the choir, but she does way more than people realize around here. She is a very, very busy lady, and she helps everybody. I thank our wonderful uh, boy wonder, look at this young, handsome man right here, Nico Guanatos of Tarpon Springs. <laughs> he, is, he is our conference district chair with his incredible energy, love of music, and dedication to the church. Uh, the choir director of Tarpon Springs, John Lulius, for his encouragement. He is my colleague and fellow choir director. I love him very much. John Aaron Bages and his wonderful choir from St. Raphael. Uh, they are not singing with us tonight, but they are supporting us. They have brought things for our reception. They were handing out programs. Yanni, thank you. Thank you to all of you. Okay. I thank also this terrific choir for their dedications to coming to rehearsals. Guys, we, we, my choir practices three times on this music and three times with everybody else in the choir. So basically, this mass choir has had three rehearsals. So they're very talented and they really have dedicated themselves. Some of this music is difficult and um, I, I really am very, very happy to have them as part of our group tonight. I also thank my wonderful organist, Mary Ann Masterides, who has played the organ here at Holy Trinity from the age of 16. <laughs> 13, oh my gosh. Yeah, well, I started when I was nine, Mary Ann, so. Good. I know she has been here so many years and, and, and very dedicated. She's a, like a beacon of light for me. She keeps me on my toes and focused on the task at hand, and God forbid I should lose my place. She knows exactly where we are. So uh, she's invaluable to me. And with that, I bring you to our final piece, which comes from the great Compline Service of Great Lent. It is the epitome of the American style of Greek Orthodox Church music. The marriage of Byzantine melody, choral harmony, and Byzantine chant, all wrapped into one. We have here at the Solea our beloved Protopsatis, Mr. George Pappas, who has been my teacher, my advisor, my critique provider, my... Uh, um, my um, and definitely a father figure to me. This is Kyrie ton dynameon with the text, Lord of the powers, be with us. For in times of distress, we have no other help but you. Lord of the powers, have mercy on us. Thank you for your attention and thank you for attending.
Ενίτε τον Θεό να εντυσαγεί σ' αυτού, ενίτε αυτό εν στερεώματι της δυνάμεως αυτού. κατά το πλήθος της μεγαλοσύνης αυτού.
I want to say something that Joanne is one of the perfectionists. She is a top musician, and we're very blessed to have her here as a choir director. We want to thank you very much, and God bless you, and keep you for many years. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We are so blessed, yes indeed, to have Joanne and our choir and our chanters and all of you. Thank you so much. What a beautiful spiritual period, this great Lenten season. I was singing with you. You saw me, huh? Okay, I couldn't help myself. Thank you, Stephen. And please come and join us across our courtyard to our beautiful Matthias Hall for a beautiful reception. And you can greet them, all these beautiful people over there. God bless you one and all. Oh, bravo, Nico. Marianne, beautiful.